Hi there, Cancer. This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to your love reading for April. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice. This way you get all notifications and when I go live. I typically go live on Sundays for all zodiac sign readings for what's coming towards you during the week. But I also have a membership area, guys, and where you can get access to all of my dailies, Monday through Thursday, general love and career, and my all zodiac signs for the weekend reads on general and love, including unlimited access to all of my extended readings and yes, this reading will also have an extended reading. We'll see what we'll focus on because we never know what we're going to focus on. Other than I know that this spread is going to be based on what is coming towards you in love, Cancer. All right. Also, if you want to book something private and personable, just go in the description box below. It is the only way you can book a private reading with me. All right. And just a reminder, the private readings... I do have the short pre-recorded video ones up. When you book them, just so you know, it's make sure you read what it says, all right? The the bookings aren't guaranteed that day of what you pick, all right? It's seven days from when you submit it, all right? Seven days, all right? So allow me some time to process that because I get lots of those readings because those are the most discounted ones. All right, let's see what's coming towards you in love, Cancer. All right, let's see what's coming towards you in love. As a reminder, I'm reading for a lot of different people, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit. All right, do not force anything to fit. All right, let's get started. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have in love for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? What's going on for Cancer? When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Hmm. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong, Cancer. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. I'm talking to a Cancer here who has an open heart. Interesting. Every choice that you have made thus far, Cancer, you have accepted. Not gracefully, not all of you have gracefully accepted this, but I feel like I'm talking to a Cancer here who has got an open space for heart, an open space for love. Next to it, we have bow. You are highly thought of, highly thought of with the bow, all right? Some of you, this is someone who gives a gift of some sort here, okay? Next to goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I keep hearing swimming in a fishbowl here, all right? Some of you have really closed your circle, closed it by working on yourself so that you can expand your heart. But there's also something about getting gifts here, okay? Being received, getting getting something to be received. And I feel like your time is due. I keep hearing cancer, your time is due to receive, all right? But it's time to get out of the fishbowl. Many of you have just been swimming around in circles. Hmm. Especially when it comes to love. Some of you have felt trapped in love, trapped in relationships that no longer serve you. But I feel like I feel like I'm talking to a Cancer here who's on the healing journey, for sure. Let's see what's coming towards you. Here we go. Oh, we got the Nine of Cups here with Justice reversed. The Ace of Wands reversed. And we have the Three of Pentacles reversed. So I'm definitely talking to a single Cancer out here. I know that takes a bunch of you out, but this is what it is, all right? I'm talking to someone here who's single or recently singled. We have, yeah, we have the higher font reverse, could even be divorced, all right, for some of you, or you moved out with a long-term partner here. The seven of wands, the four of swords reversed, and we have the ace of cups. You're definitely on the self-love healing here. We never know what's coming here, right? Battle, inner battle. Do I go back out there? Do I, do, do I try? Nah, I think I'll stay and watch, and, stay and watch Netflix. No, 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 I should go out. Nah, I'm not sure. I feel like this is an 
inter this is a inner turmoil. This is a battle that it's an everyday battle to get out there. I feel that some of you are very guarded, but it's a tug of war if you want to go out there and look for love, even though that you've been working on your heart space. All right. The nine of cups is that self indulging, enjoying yourself here, loving yourself here in the feels. Okay. Seeing all of the options out there, but it's like you're going towards your ten of cups here. Okay. But this nine of cups, you see how she's kind of facing the Libra energy with the justice reversed. I kind of feel like it's like, listen, I enjoy life. I enjoy what I have around me, but um, I'm not really fulfilled. So can you fix this universe? Can you fix this? I feel like it's an injustice. <laughs> like, I feel like you're looking at the universe like, so are you going to give me my 10 of cups? Because like, this is nice and all, but um, I could use some more, <laughs> right? There's something about overindulging I'm hearing, overindulging on you, all right? But you've grown, you've blossomed. I keep hearing you blossomed here and look at all these flowers, these lilies on her. You blossomed, all right? But it's this injustice is because you've had a broken contract and I keep seeing this injustice here with the higher font energy, even the higher fonts underneath the nine of cups. That's a change, a recent change. Some of you are recently divorced or like I said, you have left a partner or a long-term commitment, okay? Um, but that's an end of a contract. That's saying, saying to me that you're at an end of a contract here. And really, the close off that you have, the door has closed because of an end of a contract. That door is closed. You ain't fucking going back in there. No fucking way. Is my cancer's going back in that door? You're not doing it, right? It's almost like you are highly thought of, okay? The gift is like from the universe saying, no, we're not going to let you go back. Don't worry. You're not going through that door again, all right? Um, now, we do have the Ace of Wands, which is that brand spanking new beginning being handed to you, right? There's towards all of that beautiful sunset kind of colors here, Cancer. But it's reversed. You haven't even gotten started yet. You haven't even gotten on the journey yet because you're still in the fishbowl. You see, you're still in that tug of war energy here. Oh, and I just saw what's underneath that five of wands and it's the lovers. You're still on the fence. You still haven't moved on yet. Six of swords. No, eight of cups. You still haven't moved on. This is all at the end of the deck. Look at this. This is all the bottom of the deck. Cancer. You still haven't, like, you're still leaving stuff, but it's trusting the universe. It's trusting the universe, surrendering to it, right? Being in the feels with it. But the need for the hermit energy is because you've been so, Virgo energy here is because you've been so isolated. You're, you're really trying to go within to, to, I keep hearing you're going within to start the new journey. Um, this is a battle. It's It's been an ongoing battle to move on. Some of you are relocating. Some of you are moving. Some of you are moving jobs. Some of you are just... I just feel this movement of trying to move on. I keep feeling move forward, but it's not like, look at these colors. There's something here and I just heard Christmas. <laughs> There's something here in regards to the holidays or something may happen around Christmas time. Okay. But it's not here yet. I'm hearing. All right. But this is somebody you want to see eye to eye with. This is someone you want to grow with, all right? Right now, you haven't started that journey. You're not working with anyone with the three of pentacles here reversed, okay? It's like I feel like many of you are just finally on your own. But with the ace of wands being validated here with the four of swords, this is somebody who has to put everything down, even in their head, to meditate, to go within, to trust the universe. Now, this is, is reversed. So I feel like some of you are struggling with sitting with yourself, being alone. But this is the most loving thing that you could do right now. It truly is. I feel this energy cancer. This is the most loving thing you can do. Some of you have on the mind of going on a vacation somewhere, the Caribbean, some, something warm, right? Could be dreaming, trying to manifest that in here, but it's something warm I'm hearing, right? Something warm. And oh my gosh, they showed me fish. 
Look at these fish. That's different than what I said here, which was a goldfish right in the beginning here, right? Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth here. But here's your spiritual growth. Look at all these fish. They're not in a fish bowl. They're in the, they're in the freaking ocean. This is way bigger. Feels free. That's having an open heart. I think a lot of you are just really working on that open heart space, right? But let's see. We're going to pull four outcome cards and then we're going to go and move on to the extended because I want to see what are your current blockages along with who is going to come in, right? Because I felt this energy of something, some of you, it's for the holidays, all right? But I felt this energy of someone coming towards you. So it may not be the final one, but we'll see what the cards have to say. We'll pull out the personality of that individual when they come in place. Yeah, we have the hangman energy. It's definitely stagnant. Definitely in the moment here of trying to, with that queen of swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, this queen is cold. This queen is calculated. This queen has been wounded. Doesn't use a lot of heart space when it comes to love. It's strategic, right? There is that ace of wands. You're facing it. You're facing it. You want it. You want your happiness. You want to be passionate about it again right now. But right now, right now, I feel the energy of this, the Four of Cups, not being satisfied right now. Many of you are just having a hard time being alone. Just having a hard time being alone. Really sitting with yourself. Um, being single. I mean, I just, I feel like I'm talking to a cancer here who... Um, has a hard time being single, you know, and this is the first time I feel a first time that you're really truly single and working on yourself. All right. So that's what I got for you. I know it's not for the love reading, but we're going to focus on the blockages on the extended and we're going to focus on the personality of the individual coming towards you. It may not be till down the road. Like I said, some of you, this is, I felt Christmas, but we'll at least see the personality so you can recognize it. Um, if that if that person does come towards you. So if that's something that you want to go check out, go ahead to my website, Harmonia Friends, become a member so you get unlimited access to that, to all of my extendeds and my dailies, but that one in particular. Um, and if not, this is where we part ways and I will see you guys next time, all right? Don't forget, I also have a free face, Facebook group called Harmonia Friends. It's a private group. So if you want to go over there too, um, lots of other readers collaborate and go live on there, um, including it's an amazing soul tribe if you're looking for that. All right. See you guys next time. Take care.